Hey guys, I want to show you some things about saturation of an image that you may not have thought about before or may not even know about. So normally we want to modify saturation. We can hit Control or Command U and increase saturation or decrease it, right? And we can, of course, go to any of the specific colors like cyan, increase them, decrease them, etc. We can get a little more flexible and use adjustment layer, hue and saturation, of course. Make all the modifications there, whatever we need to do. We have a hue and saturation adjustment layer. We also have vibrance. Vibrance has a saturation that m works a little bit differently than the normal one. And of course, it also has vibrance, which if you played with it, you realize it's a more subtle, pleasing type of vibrant. We're not worried about those sort of modifications. Next, you might think to yourself, I'll make a saturation mask and then I can use that to do other things. Fantastic. Great method. Love it. But have you ever considered modifying the actual, if you will, embedded saturation of an image? Not so much an additive or subtractive process, but modifying the actual saturation of the image by going into its mask itself. It's actually not hard. It requires using the filter down here in other HSB HSL. Okay. Now I have some free actions on the MVP website. You can grab and it'll give you those if you want it. It's RGB to HSB and things like that. Okay. So let's go RGB to HSB. We get a wild result, but if we go to our channels and go to green, the green channel, this is our saturation. Normally, if you, you know, are used to making saturation masks, you would select the luminosity of this and use it to make a mask of something. And it's still a great method. Absolutely select the saturation and make a mask of some form to do something with it. Great technique for lots of things. But did you know you can actually modify it directly right now and get a slightly different result? And you can do different things with it. Let me explain. I can't do an adjustment layer because I'm on a channel. I could extract this out of here, put it on a new document and then do things to it with adjustment layers, but I'm going to go direct. So I'm going to hit command or control L and open levels while I'm on the green channel. Now think about this. There's all kinds of things we can do, but on the output levels, if I were to brighten it up, a linear increase of all the dark areas, just linear. This is not a curve or anything like that. Linear. By making it all brighter, I'm making everything more saturated in a different sort of way. I'm increasing the overall saturating, er, saturation of everything linearly. Okay, so let's do this for a moment. Okay, we'll go back to the RGB and then we we'll use the other action, HSB, back to RGB. And our end result is a weirdly saturated image where the lower saturation has been increased linearly. It's not smart, it's not particularly pleasing, but it's linear because I did it a lot, a whole lot. Let's try that again. Let's go RGB, HSB, go to green once again. And now, if I hit Command and Control L, Let's say I just do on the output levels 20 on the low end and negative 20 here. That is 235, you know, subtracted from 255. This is a saturation like compression, if you will. OK, so I'm taking the low saturation and bring it up, taking the high saturation, and bringing it down in a very linear manner. So hit OK, go back to our RGB and then go from HSB back to RGB. Now, let's look at the difference here. Off, on, off, on extremely subtle but what we've done is we've done a saturation compression not you know extracting a saturation mask and then putting layers adjustment layers with that again that's all very useful for lots of things but this is a direct modification of the existing saturation let's do yet another one let's go rgb hsb go to our green command and control l not the only way to modify it but it's one of the more direct now instead of the output levels i can do the input levels so let's do like 35 and on this one, 220. Now I've made the shot more contrast, right? A lot more contrast, this, this mask, excuse me, a lot more contrast. Hit okay, go back to RGB, HSB to RGB. Now what have I done? Let's see, off, on, off, on. Now it's a little too strong, but what I did was I increased something that I call saturation contrast. And it's not normal. You can't really actually do this in a, a very direct, simple way with just adjustment layers and masks. You have to go in to the saturation by converting it to HSB and then doing this. And by increasing the saturation, excuse me, increasing the contrast of the saturation uh, channel, now I've increased the saturation of saturated areas and decreased the saturation of desaturated areas, which again, too strong for this particular look. But sometimes these can create some very interesting looks. So I'm going to duplicate the background again. I'll we'll go to RGB HSB. Go back to the green. We can do all kinds of things. We want to use a curve, for example. We go straight on the green. We can brighten and maybe add a little contrast, something like that. Go back to RGB and HSB back to RGB. And now we've added 
overall saturation in a different sort of way. You might think, I'd rather use adjustment layers. I'd rather, you know, do, that's fine. It's totally fine. Especially for just a contrast boost, excuse me, a saturation boost. But when the time comes that you think to yourself, maybe set up an action for it. A lot of MVP actions actually do this. Maybe you set up an action to where you go to the green channel and it does a saturation. There we go. It does a saturation compression. And then it goes right back. And now we have, you know, the high is the low saturation brought up, high saturation brought down. Find your balance, or you can just change the opacity, etc. But sometimes that's a cool action. Maybe not so much on the studio shot because my gray background turned blue, things like that. But that saturation compression and saturation contrast is not something we see very often. It's a very subtle difference. And I like to show people how to do it. Again, you can get the um you can you can do it yourself with filter and other and HSB HSL. But we have these for free on the MVP website, the utility tools. Download those actions if you want and play around with it. There's so much you can do with RGB to HSB and HSO and then back to RGB. So I just want to show you guys that today. Any questions, leave us a comment below or email mvp at ninabatista.com.